Stalin decides uh, not to withdraw the Red Army from northern Iran after the end of the war. Um, according to the um, treaties that had been signed during the war, this sparks the kind of first crisis of the Cold War. You know, the first issue that was put on the agenda of the UN Security Council was this Iranian crisis. There's a big debate in the historiography as to how and why the Red Army withdrew from northern Iran. Um, uh, some historians say that it was uh, thanks to the machinations of the Iranian Prime Minister of the day, uh, Ahmad Qavam. Uh, Qavam managed to make a deal uh, with, the, with, the, with Stalin uh, to, give, to create a joint Soviet-Iranian company to explore for oil in northern Iran in exchange for the withdrawal of Soviet troops, but, if, but, but this deal is never ratified by the Iranian parliament, uh, and in the end, it never materializes. Other historians give the credit to Harry Truman and to the US uh, for putting pressure on Stalin to withdraw, for threatening the Soviets. The lesson that the, the Shah takes uh, from this crisis is that a very strong Iranian army is absolutely crucial to maintaining Iran's independence and territorial integrity, and that the and the only source for being able to establish an army like that is the United States.